Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to explore a powerful storytelling technique known as future pacing. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Future pacing is a technique that allows you to transport your viewers into a future scenario where they've achieved a specific goal or experienced a desired outcome. It's like painting a vivid picture of success in their minds. Why does it matter? Future pacing taps into the psychology of motivation and visualization, helping your audience connect with the possibilities that your product, service, or message offers. So here are some ideas that you can use future pacing with in your doodly whiteboard videos. You could use it for product and service benefits. And here you'll see that we are future pacing a fit athletic person. And goal achievement, you can show individuals who have already reached their goals with the help of your offer. And that's whether it's financial success, career advancement, or personal growth. You could also do before and after. So you can visualize the contrast between a before scenario. So these are like your problems and challenges. So this little girl here is afraid of a mouse. So after the solution or success has happened and it shows the transformation. So we can pretend she went through some therapy and got over her fear of rats. And of course, testimonials. Share real success stories from your satisfied customers, emphasizing the positive change that your product or service has brought into their lives. We could also do a step-by-step -step progression. In this example, she's studying she graduates and then she is succeeding beyond her wildest dreams. First you have the problem solution. In this example we had a car crash and future pacing this guy instead of being all bummed out about his wrecked car he's getting a free rental car until his car is fixed or replaced. So his life goes on. And visual metaphors. You can use symbolic visuals like staircases, ladders, road maps, or a mountain in this case to represent the progression toward a future goal. So now let's get practical and create a scene of our own here. So let's just make a scene. And I'm gonna bring in a graphic, two graphics actually. So go to props, blue and white plus sign. And I'm gonna import two images here. Girl one and girl two. And I'm going to put this one, the silhouette, in on the bottom, and then we'll have her on top. And I'm just going to go ahead and make them a little bit larger, something like so. And then let's just line them up here. They're not going to be perfect, it's okay. I actually kind of like the, the little shadow effect. And I think that will be fine. What I want to do is my scene's going to start with the silhouette. And then we will bring in this full picture of the girl as a fade. So I click that pencil icon and I'm gonna choose fade. Save and return. I'm gonna put a delay so we can see what this effect looks like. And we'll have the silhouette just already in place. And let's just take a preview of this scene real quick so you can see it. So we have the silhouette, oops, erase, and then she fades on. I don't like the erase. Sorry, I should turn that off, go to settings, erase mode, smart mode, off, apply. Now let's look. And then it slowly fades so that we have the colored version. So that's a start. Um, I do want to put some words on here, so let's add some text. And let's just go to one of my defaults. So we could do I don't know, this isn't the world's greatest <laughs> example here, but we'll go from confused, something like that. I just copied that same text, just so it's going to be the same exact size. Just an, just an easy way to get the same size. Too confident. Okay. 
going to move the girl, selecting both. So I want her pointing to confident. Let's move this text from confused. It's going to be associated with just this. And then I want confident to be the last thing. Let's see how that's looking. Confused. To confident. I'm going to get rid of the delay now. I don't need it anymore because the text acts as a delay. And I'm going to make the fade a little faster. Yeah, we'll do one and a half seconds. So let's see how that looks. I'm confused. Too confident. And that is future pacing. Of course, we could build out this scene some more. We could add our logo and some other text. We could add a voiceover and music and what have you. But I think this gives you an idea of what I'm talking about when I say future pacing. So we're going from one state to another. And of course, the new state is highly desirable and your solution is going to get them there. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.